Welcome back to our Microsoft Project Professional Tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to build a task list, how to add task summaries, task durations, how to specify start and finish dates, and predecessors and successors. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, we will use our case study that we used in lesson 1 and the file is available on my website. You can download it by following the download link that I have placed in this video, in, in, in the description of this video. So let us go to that case study. And this is the list of the tasks that you are supposed to enter in uh, our project. And I will start by <coughs> I will start by creating a task summary. So I'll go to tasks, then up here there is summary, and then I will double click on that and write Red Zuma project. So take your time and have all these tasks plus their durations entered in a Microsoft project. design selection this is 20 days next task is detailed marketing plan taking 15 days detailed marketing plan this is taking 20 days Sorry, after manufacturing study, we have product design selection, which is 10 days, marketing plan 15 days. This is 10 days, this is 15 days. Then we have manufacturing process 30 days. Manufacturing process is going to take that days. And number eight is detailed product design taking 45 days. Detailed detailed product design taking 45 days. Detailed product. design and this is taking 45 days we have build prototypes taking 25 days build prototypes taking prototypes is taking 25 days type 25 days the next is lab test prototypes. And that one is taking 10 days. 
next one is field test prototypes taking 15 days field test prototypes this is taking 15 days uh, final last product design taking 20 days product design taking 20 days final manufacturing process taking 10 days 10 days there and this task is final manufacturing process the next task is order components taking 7 days taking 7 days the other task is order production equipment order production equipment it is taking 14 days install production equipment install install production equipment product equipment installation is taking 35 days and then finally people will celebrate when the project is over and this one is taking one day so if you notice we have been adding the task name and specifying the task duration and for the first for the first summary task it is it's 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 scheduled automatically and what this does is this summary its duration depends on the duration that all these other activities are going to take and so for us to be able to get the total time taken for the project to get completed we need to put the predecessors so that we will have now specified the start and finish dates for every activity and if we go back to this we are told that product design its predecessor is number two so let's go back and add them product design is this this is number two this is number two you notice when we when we when we had when we add the predecessors the start and finish dates are coming in automatically that is because we have already specified the duration that the those tasks are going to take so let's go on and add all of them This is 7, 10, 11. The next is 12, the other one is 13. So this is 12, this is 12, this is 13. Install production equipment, which is taking that 5 days, as a predecessor number 14 and is given a forward. Uh, a finish to start lag of 20 days and 15 given a finish to start lag of 30 days so I'll first write them as 14 and 15 and then I'll go back and 
double click on for that predecessor then I'll select after the task information has been activated I'll select this tab predecessors and then at number 14 this is supposed to be finished to start and it's taking how many days? 20 days so right here 20 days 20 days and the other one I'll write 30 days then click OK and you see it has already updated itself then the last one is 6 and 16 so I'll write here 6 and 16 now what we've done is we have specified what task depends on another one for it to be performed that is what we are calling the predecessor successor relationship so on this side is our task names and duration start and finish dates and the predecessors on this other side we have our Gantt chart so let me zoom in let me zoom on this space so that we can see the chart that we have uh, created so this is this is it this is how the the activities relate to each other now for the purposes of this video we will be required to answer some questions like when is the project getting complete now if you look at our project we have a summary task and all these other tasks are depend uh, 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 sub tasks to the summary so our finish date is supposed to be the last date that is given here so if you look at this it is not very clear but if you come back to here you can see this is the finish date on 8th of January I think 2016 the same can be obtained from our summary here this is the finish date if you look at this point and sorry to answer the question the duration that the project is going to take if you look at this duration for the summary task is 260 days and then Microsoft Project Professional also helps us to be able to establish what we call the critical path and that is the critical activities together with the non-critical activities so if you go activate task tab and then under view this place click on this drop down and change the view to network diagram now you can see some of these tasks like market analysis is highlighted in red this means that this task is a critical task and manufacturing study highlighted in blue is an uncritical task so for us to establish the critical path we will follow along the red arrows and uh, the tasks that have been highlighted in red and that forms our critical path so that's that is it for this video i hope you've learned something helpful and if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave your comment in the comments section i will be glad to answer them and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel until next until next time keep learning and have a good time